What's up guys welcome back to yet another review video and in this video we are going to do a complete review of Oxygen OS 12 Open Beta 1 for OnePlus Nord. So without wasting any more time let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus Nord on which I am running Oxygen OS Open Beta 1 which was rolled out few days back and I have used this device as my primary phone. So in the review video we will include everything like camera samples, battery backup, performance part and more. As always we created a poll asking you guys about which all topics we need to cover in a review video. So we got approximate 2.5k votes and most users voted for performance. So we will cover that also but in the later part of the video. So before starting the video let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video we still have 82 percent of users who haven't subscribed to our channel so if you find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video so now first let me tell you there's one question which always have been coming up in the comment section and that's related to ambient display so guys basically ambient display feature have been removed from oxygen os 12 instead of that now we have an option called power saving under always on display and enabling this feature the always on display will not not be shown if the phone has been in stationary for a while so there's no more ambient display feature and another thing which i have noticed is device goes to deep sleep whenever we keep the device idle for longer time also once you turn on the screen screen also blinks for once and that regularly happens on this device so you guys let me know if the same issue is present on your device or not but this thing i have observed on my device and after that auto brightness is also not calibrated that well and if you drag the brightness to the lowest you will see a bit of screen flickering i am not sure if you guys are able to see that but yes i can clearly see that difference or screen flickering while reducing the brightness so this is another issue what's present on oxygen os 12 open beta 1 and still there are few users who have been facing issues with the notifications on the lock screen so for me personally i did not notice any kind of issues related to notifications on the lock screen but yes they do appear most of the times but sometimes i don't get to see the notifications on the lock screen so i tested out in multiple scenarios the results were same sometimes i was able to reply the messages directly from the lock screen and sometimes i wasn't so notification issues have been there on oxygen os 12 since day one and also i have noticed soon you see the message once you receive it you can easily find it on the lock screen but after a while once device goes into deep sleep the notifications also gets removed from the lock screen and i've also seen that few users have been complaining about that they are not able to reply the message from the lock screen if they are using fingerprint to lock their device so personally i did not find that issue so as you can see here i have messages on the lock screen and if i have to reply i just tap on reply and i get the option to unlock the device using fingerprint because i saw a comment in which user was saying that he is not able to use his fingerprint unlock for replying the message on the lock screen he's only getting the option of pin or pattern so guys as said there are no issues for me personally replying to the messages even if i have set fingerprint authentication and if you guys are facing major issues then for once make sure to perform a factory reset and another issue is related to notifications and most users have this complaint that gmail notifications doesn't appear and yes guys that's a issue on oxygen os 12 most of the time gmail notification doesn't appear as you can see here i have so many messages and there was not even a single notification of gmail from the time i have been shooting this video let's hope in upcoming builds they do fix this issue and also guys a quick update on oneplus stock dialer if you are the one who doesn't like google dialer on your device running oxygen os 12 we have made a video which is being displayed on the screen just follow that video guide and you'll be easily able to use oneplus stock dialer with call recording that too without pre-announcement of recording and i've also got few messages in which people had this issue that their call gets disconnected when they press the power button while on call so yes guys that do happen i think that's a feature but another thing which i would like to highlight after even i have disabled this power button to end call the call do get disconnected using the power button if i'm on any call so i'm not sure about this feature and how does this work but yes this is an issue because this doesn't happen with my other phones running oxygen os 12 stable builds this is only case with oxygen os 12 open beta 1 on my oneplus nord 
So guys, these were some of the issues what I have personally noticed with Oxygen OS Open Beta 1 and few users have also reported some of them. And one thing which I forgot to mention is about this charging animation on the lock screen. So sometimes this charging animation appears and sometimes it doesn't. So this is a minor thing which will be fixed in the further updates. And now let's talk about the battery backup. Again, this is a major concern for some users and as always I say battery backup depends on tons of factors and it might vary for every individual. But let me show you all the screen on time which I have been getting on my OnePlus not running Oxygen OS 12 Open Beta 1 and also we'll talk about the charging speed. Okay, so first talking about the charging speed. So here you can see I kept my device for charging at 8.33 in the morning wherein the battery percentage was 3% and after almost one and a half hour my device charged up to 100%. So we started from 8.33 and the device have taken almost one hour 20 minutes to completely charge which wasn't the case on Oxygen OS 11 as far as I remember their device used to take 1 hour, 1 hour, 5 minutes to completely charge from 0 to 100. So you guys let me know how much time does your device take to charge from 0 to 100 after updating to Oxygen OS 12. And talking about the battery backup, this is the first cycle wherein I got 3 hours and 1 minute of screen on time with my normal usage guys. As you can see here, I did not use my device for gaming purpose. This was just a normal usage, but as said, it completely depends on user to user. I found one thing weird, here Google services framework is draining more battery, which usually doesn't happen with my other smartphones. And battery backup performance part will be gradually improved. With the second cycle, there were a bit of improvements in the screen on time, wherein you can see, I got 3 hours and 56 minutes of screen on time, again with the normal usage. But once again, Google services framework have been draining more battery for some reason. Now let's move on to the camera part. So here basically I personally did not notice any kind of major improvements with picture qualities compared to Oxygen OS 11. It remains exactly same, nothing extraordinary. Using front camera in portrait mode still overexposes the images and the edge detection is also messed up in some scenarios. But overall I have no complaints about the camera segment on OnePlus Nord. This device does a decent job when it comes to clicking pictures in the daylight condition. I even did not see much of color shifting when switching between different lenses and this minor color shifting do happen on almost all smartphones. One thing which I am really happy about the camera part on OnePlus Nord and that's with the nightscape photograph. On other devices like OnePlus 9 running Oxygen OS 12, OnePlus 8 series running Oxygen OS 12, there you won't see any difference in the pictures clicked with night mode and normal mode. But here, when you click pictures in night mode, you get brighter pictures with lesser noise. And at last, let's talk about the performance part. One thing let me clear, device do gets bit warmed up. I won't say warmed up, I should use the word heats up. So even if you use your device normally, device gets heated up a lot. I've seen with normal usage, my device temperature goes above 42, 43 degrees Celsius. But I'm not blaming software here. There are possibilities that reason might be the summers wherein ambient temperature is always around 35-37 degrees Celsius and which do affect the performance and battery stuff on any Android device. Though one thing which I am not at all happy about Oxygen OS 12, so OnePlus have restricted its all smartphones at 60Hz wherein few smartphones do support 120Hz but in games like Battlegrounds Mobile India, we only get maximum support of 60 fps and that's bad and we are okay if oneplus have restricted to 60 fps at least device should deliver 60 fps when it comes to gaming part but i've seen fps also goes below 40 and most of the times the fps doesn't even exceed 55 most of the times in very rare cases device goes up to 58 or 59 so gaming part, I won't recommend you guys to use Oxygen OS 12. If you don't want frame drops and much of heating issues, then stay on Oxygen OS 11 itself. And for Nord users, I will still not recommend you guys to update to Beta 1. Because there are bugs, stability isn't that great. Wait for another update, we might get to see Open Beta 2 or directly stable build of Oxygen OS 12 for OnePlus Nord series. So if you guys ask me about updating the device to Android 12, then I will not recommend you to update your Nord right now with this update. But still, if that's not your primary device, you can go ahead and try out. So guys, this was my complete review of Oxygen OS 12 Open Beta 1 for OnePlus Nord. 
if you still have any kind of questions or if i have missed out anything do let me know in the comment section below this is your friend ashok signing out see you guys in the next video Thank you.